how's everybody doing out there this is the black effect i want to go ahead and get into this um this quick message this quick story that just broke i just saw um a news article um about a uh, the murder of a uh, of two young people um this was a lyric woods and a devin clark um devin clark i think was um 18 and lyric woods is 14 and devin is a black is a young black man young black boy and uh lyric is a a 14 year old a white girl um she played volleyball and uh, she was a freshman and devin was a senior in high school now they recently both of them were found dead on a hiking trail shot to death unfortunately yeah and they recently the police just recently discovered a 17 year old um suspect now they won't disclose who this 17 year old suspect is and they because he's 17 who gives a fuck if you murder somebody i'll let child minor shit go out the window we need to know who they are who they parents are need to know all of that you then you know some of you these legal loopholes are ridiculous you understand like we taxpayers man we want to we want to know what you know don't try to be time out we got some i don't give a fuck about none of that little minor shit you talking if somebody kill if they do crimes like this killing two people shoot them dead or mass shootings in schools give us all the information Man, and because it's some loophole in wherever they are where you can't automatically try them as an adult. Look, man, if if the man is convicted, man, that's that should be automatic. Like, you and they know you were finna do most of your ain't no point of you being 17, you finna be 18. Ain't no point of you doing most of your life in the juvenile, I mean, or spending a year in juvenile, then having them ship you off to do the rest of your joke. Like, look, quit wasting time. Just ship the person where they need to go. But look, that's that's neither, you know, that's my opinion on it, man. But definitely we need to know who that person is. We need to I don't care about the you know these legal loopholes. Two people are dead. Do you care about them? Do you care about their parents? Do you care about the people who you know who love them? You sit here, like I said, these police officers and and, and news outlets and stuff, man. These news outlets y'all y'all reveal everything like tmz will be all up in your nuts under your balls revealing information but when it's important stuff like this you want to act like you can't disclose it to the people man get the hell out of her and i'm gonna tell you one thing too a lot of i bet you that this kid is white i bet you this kid and i'm not trying to to put to be racist with this but i bet you he's white you understand because this was a young black boy and a young white girl who got killed. I bet you the person who killed him is white. And this 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 young white male either, you know, saw them together and was jealous and felt some type of way. Or he was, you know, the ex-boyfriend of this girl. And this girl was only 14, so she shouldn't be having too many boyfriends. You understand? But that's either one or two of the scenarios. And I'm going to tell you like this, this is the, like, you hear a lot of rhetoric from black women talking crazy, talking about, oh, man, when, when black men see me with a white man, they, the look on their face or, or some, see the stuff that they be talking about, you can't quantify. They talking about looks or when they go out or something, you know, they, they could feel the energy or something. It's all energies and not, nah, that's nonsense, man. You just really, basically, you probably just projecting, you're assuming things. You know, and you need you know what they say about assumptions. But with black men, when they date white women, and especially that they with a young white woman, bro, the hatred levels are high. You understand? Because you got a lot of men today, a lot of white men, just men, period, today are in sale. You understand? Black men have a little bit more leeway, you know, with the stereotypes, you know, the the sexual stereotypes and 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 these just having swag and things like that. But for white men, they don't have those those things to fall back on. You understand? And and some of them, you know, some of them don't even care. Some of them just like you have real men all across the board from uh, all walks of life. But some for the most part, you know, you will have um but you will have not for the most part but you will have some individuals who uh who can't take it like who see who see somebody else with another race of people or, or with a person that's of their race and they get jealous they can't take it you understand they see that it's, it's 
they have some right they're har they're harboring high racist ideologies deep racist ideologies and that it triggers them you understand i guarantee you that this per like just wait till when the story comes out that this person who did that was white he was a young white boy and what i'm saying is that you need to disclose the name you know i don't care about like, all of these legal loopholes talking about minor act i don't got yeah, shut up you know what I'm saying? When people kill somebody and do stuff like this, he's no longer a minor in nobody's eyes. Like, he can come around, he can mess around, shoot your daddy, shoot your mama. You know what I'm saying? Shoot your shoot your daughter. Is he, you know, when you be trying to talk about, oh, he's a minor. No, nah, man, look, disclose that information. All right? So we can get justice for Devin and we can get some justice for Lyric. That's what it's about. You know, we don't work. Why are we protecting criminals? We don't care. You understand? Again, if you didn't do it, like if you involved in this, then your name goes out. If you didn't do it, you get exonerated. What's the big deal? You know what I'm saying? All right. You, you were innocent. So, you know, that exonerated you. But we need to know these names. I hate when these people try to they talking about that if they decide that he's an adult. If they, um, the courts decide that, then they'll come out with his name. Like, man, miss us with all that. Like, you got people grieving right now. These kids are already dead. You don't have the cause of death. You don't have, you know, you know how much they twiddle their thumbs. They try to don't try to sweep this story under the rug. Because I'm gonna continue to cover this. We're gonna pay attention and see what y'all doing. And and what what type of time have you given this 17-year-old who decided to kill these two people? Because I guarantee you to charge them with a hate crime too. I guarantee you that. It's going to be a, a you're going to have a lot of um, if he turns out to be a young white male, you're going to have a lot of uh, political um, uh, political mess on your hands. You really are. You have a lot of people that's uh, up in up in arms and then in, uh, in, in, enraged by these these different type of hate crimes and things. And I mean, again, it's nothing you, you can't stop everything, can't prevent everything. But definitely we need to be informed. We need to know who these people are because, you know, like the at the end of the day, we need to know. That's it. We need to know who that kid is, who who did that killing. Got dangerous kids out here. You know what I'm saying? The dangerous people. I don't care about his his age at that point. You understand? And we need to know who his parents are. Ain't nobody harassing them, but we need to know who they are. So with that being said, man, you know it's a sad situation for uh, Lyric and uh, Devin. You know, prayers go out to their families. You understand? Prayers go out to all the uh. The, the loved ones of those of those two people, two individuals, man. I know they're going through it. So with that being said, it's your man, Nico B. Black Effect. I'm gone.